guys, so today's video is a homemade pasta salad and I'm just going to go over what you need. You need a pound of the rotini or you can use any other pasta you, you want. These also come in the colorful ones which is kind of fun if you're going to be making it um, for you know a party or something like that. You're going to need some sausage, any kind you want. This is just an all beef one that I like. We're going to need some carrots. You're just going to shred these up. So if you want to buy pre-shredded carrots, that's fine. Some salad dressing. Italian dressing works the best. Some olives. This is just one of those big cans and I put it in another jar so I can use it. And I'll just cut those up. And then some artichoke hearts. These are the ones already in a marinated oil. But you can just buy some that are just the hearts or just in the water or whatever and that's fine. So yeah, this is everything you're going to need so let's get cooking. Okay, so I have a pot here with water in it coming to a boil and I've seasoned the water ah, I've seasoned the water with some salt. I used about a small handful or palmful of kosher salt so I think that would probably be about a tablespoon and a half if we're going that way but if you've been watching my cooking channels you know I don't actually measure stuff for the most part I kinda just guesstimate so I hope that helps you just want to make sure that you season the water because it's really um, one of the only times that you can get some real seasoning into the um, pasta is when it's hot as you will see later also so once that comes up to a boil I will just put the pasta in and let it cook to its directions which is about 10 minutes. Okay while my pasta is in the pot boiling I am going to cut up my sausage and just put it in the pan and just lightly brown it on both sides. You can just cut it up and put it in um, the pasta if you like it that way because this brand or this type of sausage is already fully cooked but I think when you brown it a little bit it adds a little bit more flavor and I think it's a little better that way and I like to just cut it up so that it's bite-sized pieces so you take it and then just cut it up Okay, I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to heat up my pan to about a medium um, high heat. So mine goes to six or seven, so I'm just going to put it on at four. I'm just going to get some canola oil or any kind of vegetable oil and just put a little bit. You really don't need a lot of um, oil, you just want a nice light coating because there is oil in the, the sausage so you just want something to kind of coat it a little bit okay I will cut this up in a second but just take your meat and put it into the pan let this brown up I'm just going to move this around until it's all nice and brown like and then I will drain it and put it to the side. Okay, so I'm going to take some of these baby carrots. You can take any kind of carrot you want. It doesn't have to be the baby ones. And or like I said, you can just buy pre-shredded and I'm just going to shred up my carrots. If you want them to be the long ones like this, you need to make sure the baby carrot is sideways and not short ways because obviously. And just be really careful not to cut up your fingers. Also just take some olives. These are whole ones. Again, 
you can buy oh, you can buy pre-sliced ones already and just chop them up to uh, the size you want and you'll do the same thing with the other. Like anything in today's world you can buy pre-sliced and pre-packaged stuff but I just find that a lot of the stuff that we pay you know that to have sliced olives you're paying for it and it's really not worth it to me it takes me two seconds to chop up these olives and it was so much cheaper to buy a big um, can of it versus just a little can or already sliced olives plus I have the ability to make them whatever size shape I want So I have drained my pasta and I'm just going to rinse it real fast to keep stop the cooking process. You don't have to do this very long. You don't want to wash all the starches off. You just want to cool it down just a little bit. And then I will put this in a bowl. Okay, now that it is rinsed off, we are going to take one of our bottles of Italian dressing, shake it up, and pour it all over. You're going to pull the whole bottle. As your pasta cools even more, it is going to absorb the liquid in your pot um, in the um, it's going to absorb the Italian dressing. So go ahead and stir it. I don't know why I can't speak today. I apologize. And it may seem like a lot, but it really won't be. Trust me, everybody in your family is going to love this. So I'm going to let that go, and I'm going to finish chopping up my vegetables. And then once this is cooled, probably a good 10 minutes, I will put everything in, mix it again, and put it into the refrigerator. refrigerator. Um, one thing is you're going to have to stir it probably every hour or so and you may need to add dressing to it. That's why we have the second bottle. So uh, if you notice when you're stirring that, think they're not, that the noodles look dry, then you need to add a little more dressing to it and then you'll be good until it's where you like it. Okay, so this is a finished product. I actually only ended up using the one um, salad dressing. It didn't. It was actually ended up being the perfect amount. Um, I thought of one other thing that I forgot, but I don't have any to fix it, and that would be grape or cherry tomatoes. And just cutting those up and putting them in here is really good too. Um, a great thing is about pasta salad is that you can kind of do whatever you want to them, and it tastes really, really good. Um, so play with it and have fun with it and if you end up trying it and making it please let me know because I would love to hear what you think of it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.